الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Excellent of sending through the salam when a Muslim conveys 313 times through the park he will be with those who recite through the salam abundantly Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in call to righteousness on page 143 it is mentioned the oath urged on someone by anyone else is not valid number 13 the oath urged upon a person by someone else is not a valid oath for example if someone said i ask you for the sake of an oath to allah azza wa jal please do this it is not a valid oath and if the person in brackets whom oath was urged upon does not do what he asked to, he is not required to pay expiation. A person, for example, went to another person, the latter who was sitting wanted to stand up for the former said, by Allah Azza wa Jal, don't stand. But this, but the sitting one stood up. The former who had sworn the oath is not required to pay expiation in this case. Number 14, he is the principle to be remembered as regards every type of oath, only commonly understood meaning of the words of oath will be considered valid. For example, someone swore that he would not enter any house, but then he entered a masjid or the Holy Kaaba. His oath would not break in this case, even though these places are also considered a type of house in a sense. Similarly, if he entered a public bathroom, his oath would not break. And number 15, intention and purpose of oath are not considered. The exact words of an oath are considered irrespective of what they imply. In other words, the meaning commonly understood in conversation by those words would be considered. Whatever the intention and purpose of oath swearing person, for example, someone swore an oath that he would not purchase anything costing a penny for so and so person. But he purchased something costing a pound for that person, his oath would not break in this case, though the sentence he uttered implies that he would purchase uh, nothing, whether it costs a penny or a pound. But this will not be considered because this meaning is not understood by the word uttered. Likewise, if someone swore an oath, that he would not go out passing through the door, but he would go out by jumping over the wall or with the help of a ladder, his oath will not break through the sentence he uttered, implies that he would not go out of the house. In this context, listen to the parable of Sayyidina Imam Azam, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi. There was a person who swore an oath never to eat the egg then swore an oath to eat what was in the pocket of so-and-so person. Coincidentally, there was an egg in the pocket of that person. This issue was presented in the court of the leader of millions of Hanafis, Sayyidina Imam Azam Abu Hunifa. He, rahmatullahi ta'ala, alayhi said, the oath-swearing person would place the egg under a hen, and when the chick hatched out, he he should roast it and eat it, or should cook it in the soap and eat it with the soap. In brackets, in this way, his oath will be fulfilled. May Allah Azza wa Jal have mercy on him and forgive us without accountability for his sake. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islam brothers, as you know, today is Saturday and we have the weekly we have the weekly. Uh, the Silsla of Madri Muzakra in the back room. It is a Madri request, inshallah, to join us in learning the religious knowledge and to gain barakah and blessings from the awliya of Allah. Meaning, 
the wali of Allah, which is Amir Ahlul Sunnah, Damad Barakatum Aliyah. May Allah Azawajal give his enthusiasticness and the ability to participate either here in Fazani Medina or at home with your families, or if you're at work, uh, you can tune in via your app on your mobile phone, uh, inshallah, or through the internet, uh, you can do a live viewing on your phone. May Allah Azawajal bless you. Ameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen. Jazallahu anna Muhammadin ma huwa ahluh.